All right, guys, what is up? Uh, <clears throat> I just got back from the range with my uh, new Ruger SR22. And I've never been m more satisfied with a purchase in my life. Uh, first, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that I use the Remington Golden Golden Bullet uh, bulk ammo, and it shot just fine. Uh, I had one one failure to feed. Uh, and I, um, I think that was cause I didn't push the magazine all the way in correctly. So I, th I think that's, that's what the real problem was. I'm not sure if it was the ammo or, or that, uh, but we'll go ahead and take the gun out here. I have it locked up right now. Uh, I do like this lock a lot. Uh, it's done very well. Nice and heavy duty. Not going to break or wear out anytime soon or anything like that. Going to take those keys off because those are starting to annoy me. I just didn't want to lose the, the lock key, so I put it around my neck. Uh, anyways, the gun. Uh, I, I really don't have anything bad to say about this. Uh, this was... A fun gun it fed great with uh, the cheap cheapest ammo I could find uh, it's accurate uh, this this is my first handgun so I didn't do uh, super great but I, I don't think I did that bad actually uh, most of my groups were sticking pretty close together uh, I did try to do a, a rapid fire kind of thing really fast and that that was pretty awful uh, I was all over the place. I got my first three shots right middle of the sternum, and then I got two on my on the left arm, and then two near the crotch. So rapid fire is not is not my thing right now. Uh, definitely have to work work on all just work on it in general. But for a starter pistol, I don't think you can do any any better than this. Uh, personal opinion, I'll say. I don't want to start a war in the comments or anything. Uh, but let's go ahead and go over some of the features, I guess. Uh, uh, I do, actually, I guess I do have one kind of thing that just irks me a little bit, and that's the uh, um, slide lock here. Uh, it, it, it's a, It's kind of a hard thing, like when hold on, let me look. Throw this clip in, not loaded, but it's it's still safe. Everybody, uh, when it's cocked back, uh, it it, t it does take a little bit of force to actually push that down. Uh, and that, like when you're in the range, I I, I kind of tended to pull pull it uh, up a little bit, and that way I could get my thumb right on that. And really push down on it because it was it was kind of difficult. It, I'm not sure if maybe I uh, can lube that up a little bit, and make it a little bit smoother. But pushing that down, I, I kind of found myself raising this up so I could get my thumb, or get my thumb on it a little bit higher because when you, when I had it just straight, my thumb kind of barely could barely reach it, and it made it harder to push. So I would pull it up a little bit, and, and, and like if you're if you're just not paying attention, I mean you could end up looking stupid or or even even get in trouble at some range just because they might think you're being irresponsible when really you're just trying to put down the slide um but that, that was like my one th that was the one thing that continually bothered me it, it's, it's just kind of difficult i don't know why that's so so stiff there it, it, it may wear out with uh it may it may get better with use i mean uh the grips here i have the second grip up here it comes uh, already with the smaller grip on, but since this is such a uh, small gun, I definitely prefer having the uh, larger grip on the back. It's it's much more comfortable for me. I mean, uh, just to give you guys a size comparison, I don't have very big hands, and let's see, this the hammer is right at the back of my palm, and you can see uh, I I can actually bend my furthest knuckle 
over the barrel. So my hand is significantly longer than this pistol, and I don't have big hands. So it, it is pretty compact. It is, it is, it is pretty small. Uh, but that it, it's, it's, it's still comfortable, even being as small as it is. But with this, it, it's, it just feels, feels way too skinny in the hand for me. Uh, but if, if you have bigger hands, you might actually like this. Uh, it, it might make the gun feel a little bit smaller in the hand because if you have big hands, the, the bump is kind of, it's noticeable, which is why I like it, but you may not. Uh, other than that, um, the mags, they pop out really smoothly. Uh, when I, when I first got it, the, the, uh, mag release was a little bit stiff, but it's, it's already broken in now and it comes out really nice. One thing you do have to be careful about though, is when inserting the mag, hold on, I, I'll see if you guys can, I'll stop talking to see if you can hear it. You hear that snap right there? That's actually not even all the way in. So uh, my, my dad went to the range with me and he actually thought that it was in the first time because he heard that click and it, it started coming out and he got a, uh, a misfeed or, or, no, not a misfeed, it didn't even go in. It wouldn't shoot, that's what it was. Uh, but yeah, so just make sure you push until you can't push anymore or else it's just gonna fall right back out. And it won't shoot because of the magazine disconnect, but it, I almost thought he had a failure to feed or something. Uh, but that's what it was, he just didn't push it in hard enough. Uh, anyways, the shooting the double action, uh, I did not like that. Uh, I like the single action. Double action, it just was, it, it, I'll see if you guys can, this is actually uh, safe to dry fire. Most 22 rimfire pistols, uh, you'll always get a warning not to dry fire, but they specifically say it's it's okay to dry fire this. I mean, I'm not going to tell you to do it all the time, but for like demonstration purposes, uh, it's, it's I would say it's a big deal. But, uh. I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys could hear that, but it, it, it sounds kind of gritty and it's it's heavy and I, I, I just, I'm not a fan of the double action. Single action though is crisp, uh, short. Uh, it's not mm, it's not like, like the trigger has a little bit of play, but I, it, I don't want to say it sounds loose. Uh, it, it, it's, it's snappy, it's quick and it's really I, I like the single action is what is all I'm trying to say. Uh, other than that, uh, definitely, definitely recommend this gun if you're, uh, if you're looking for a plinker, great gun, or if you're just starting out like I am, this is my first handgun, uh, my training handgun, and I, I definitely like it. Um, I'm not sure if I have anything else to say about it, really. Uh, it's, it's simplistic, it's easy, it's reliable. Uh, I will say if you are consider if you're in between this and the Walther, uh, I would definitely recommend uh, this over the P22 because of the fact that it's more reliable. The Walther P22, I saw, can't remember who it was. Sorry, I'll I might like uh, put your name in the description, but they were doing a video comparing the Walther P22 and the Rieger SR22. And three, three out of ten times, I want to say the the Walther would misfeed or jam or whatever. It would have some kind of problem. Three out of ten times, three out of ten shots. I mean, and the Ruger shoots smoothly, uh, and, and it that it, it was like a no brainer for me when when after I saw that, and then after that I saw a couple other videos where people like they weren't bashing it, but. They, they definitely made it clear that the Walther has its problems. Uh, so that, that, that made it clear for me that I was definitely going to go with Ruger. Uh, more reliable. And they're almost... The Walther came first, but Ruger did a better job with the gun, I think. Um, it, it's, it's very, very similar. Uh, I don't want to call it a clone because 
that could start a, a, a war, but um, it it might as well be, I guess. It, the similarities are so obvious. <laughs> uh, that's just the simplest way to put it. It's just obvious that this was made uh, made off of the Walther P22. I mean, I, I do like the Walther, but the reliability issues are just more of a too much of a problem for me, I guess. So, um, well, I will also say that you get these two, you get two of these, uh, grips down here for your magazine, and you get two of these with the longer lip, and then you get the two that are just flush. I def, I don't, like I said, I don't have big hands, but this still makes it much easier to use because. Like you can see, my pinky will rest right on that. Like it, it sits right on that just perfectly. And if this was one of the straighter ones, I, I feel like it would be hanging off just a, just a smidge, and that makes it a little uncomfortable for me. So uh, that's my that's my spiel on the Ruger SR22. Uh, great, affordable uh, starter pistol. Uh, I, whether you're training or you're just going out for plinking fun, uh, it's in, inexpensive. Uh, all around, just a great buy. Uh, I definitely like this pistol. Most satisfied purchase I've ever made. Uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. As always, subscribe.